Hi guys, I'm Marticor and as a refreshment, I'm playing with the Long family today. But not for long. <laughs> we'll go back to the Genesis um, in a minute. So here's Nadia and here's Donovan and here's Nina uh, from the Backman family. She is now Donovan's wife. And they will try for a baby today, but there will be another baby in this family because there's been a change of plans and we're doing the thing that you wanted, I think. After deeper analysis of chemistry um, of both Enix and Nadia, I decided that they don't really belong together as much as I thought because Nadia has stronger chemistry with Garland, even though she has a better relationship with Enix. So that says something. Um, so we will make that baby for Nadia with Garland. And actually Mary Matza, I think that's how I should pronounce her name. Or is her first name or like Marie? I don't know. Anyway, uh, she is Enix's first choice. I checked it and yeah, I think Enix will actually end up with this lady. She is a pizza delivery um, girl, I think. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. For some reason, Enix really likes blondes. She doesn't have blonde in her turn-ons, but like almost every single woman that she has good chemistry with is blonde. I don't know. <laughs> Weird coincidence, but okay. So I expanded the house so that Nina and Donovan have their own space, both for them and a baby. There is no bathroom yet because, um, I mean, technically I could sell this because it's not really that needed yet um, and just make the bathroom for them. It's not even painted fully, I don't think. Oh no, it's, it's just light. But here something really bad happened, but they only have 35 simoleons, so... Let's give them a break. There are two cats. Uh, there's Bailey, who is just like a regular cat uh, from the shelter, I am pretty sure. Like, you know, the kitten, the black kitten, there are like three. Um, and Checo is mixed from Strays with the baby pet creator from Gumbo and Hatbox. <laughs> Hatbox? What, what kind of cat name is that? Um, yeah, his name is Checo, like Checo Ramirez. Yeah, that's right. And and he is really weird. Like, his name should be Monte, I think. And here's Christy. She's old. She wants to have a grandchild. No problem. She is trying to get along with her daughter-in-law. So for now, uh, we're waiting for Donovan and Nina, which is kind of like Don and Nina, isn't it? It's really tempting to name their daughter Dina if they end up having a daughter that is blonde. <laughs> it sounds perfect. Uh, wait, it's Nadia who is at work, actually. Okay, it's fine. So we're waiting for them to come back and we need to make those babies. Uh, this family is two days behind uh, comparing to the Genesee family, so I think that's about right. Uh, Donovan, uh, I decided that Donovan is two years younger than Enix and Nadia is five years younger than Enix. And Nina is actually two years older than Enix because she's four years older than Donovan. Nina has the day off today, so that's perfect for baby making. Donovan is coming back at three. Oh yeah, he's in sports because uh, Alvin brings him back from work and they are best friends actually. His secondary aspiration is knowledge and does Nina have a second? Oh, she, she doesn't have a secondary aspiration. Um, so she's a fortune sim and I think her secondary could also be knowledge. She is kind of playful, but she is also very, very active. So I think knowledge could be good. And now they will probably have higher chemistry. There's also uh, upstairs here, and this is Christy's bedroom. And she also has a separate bathroom, but the shower is broken. Okay, can you repair this? Oh, and the toilet as well. She got a love letter. Oh, it's from Marie. <laughs> yeah, they have a thing, but that's okay. Because she is supposed to end up with Enix, but... I think after a date, Nadia will just switch to Garland to have that woohoo, and from that woohoo she will have a baby with him. Is Garland at work now? Might be. Or maybe not. Oh, her secondary aspiration is fortune, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, hi, Samaya. <laughs> and you guys, try for that baby, please. Okay. Thank you. Garland. <laughs> 
Yeah, he just really doesn't want to be married. He wants to kiss. So let's kiss. He wants to make out. So let's make out. He's old and he has back pain. Okay, they're actually close to love. Oh yeah, he wants to fall in love with her. And get another back rub. Damn, that elderly back pain is really bad. So bad that she wants to give him a back rub too. Kissing in the rain. Okay, I think you can make a baby now. It's very possible that those babies will be the exact same age. She is really happy. And not pregnant. Okay, he left. So I guess we'll try tomorrow. So there will be some age difference between the kids. Aw, that's so sweet. Okay, this time Garland is at work, 6 p.m. Oh! She is giving birth at 5.10. So she will probably make it before 6 and then right after that there will be a notification that the baby is one day away from birthday. Oh well. I guess we'll age the baby up tomorrow in the afternoon somewhere. It's a boy. Oh, cool. Redhead with blue eyes. So no Dina. <laughs> I will name him Paxton. No reason. Just the first name that came to my mind. Okay, we need to pay the bills. Uh, fortunately, Nadia has been promoted, so... Uh, we have the 900 to pay the bills and also some money to buy a crib. Oh yeah, Paxton's birthday is only a day, day away. <laughs> and that's how all the families on Basket Island are connected now. The Backmans, the Longs and the Genesis. I mean, not yet, but they will be very soon. Uh, yeah, I guess. Hi, Melissa. Do they have something going on? Not really, but Melissa is a romance sim, so yeah. They have pretty decent chemistry. Who is that? Professor Jan Goss? Are you serious, Garland? You were never at university. Well, okay then. Oh no, she... <laughs> she greeted everyone counting the wolf, who has the same name as their cat. Melissa, there's some baby making in here. Oh man, okay, we need to chase off this wolf. <laughs> Again? Oh man, okay, I am taking out the microwave. It's... <laughs> it's too much work. The only thing I want to do is just make her pregnant, please. Have random with Garland Genesee. Okay. She might have twins, but I really hope not. <laughs> And we don't have food, and we don't really have that much money to buy food. Can you make gelatin at least, maybe? No? <laughs> Can you make single plates? Oh yeah, okay. And Melissa took it. Can we say goodbye to all of you? So that you don't eat our salad made of absolutely last bits out of our fridge. Goodbye. Christy? Weren't you making another salad? Okay, we don't have any more food. <laughs> and we have a pregnant woman here. And a baby! Okay, there's still juice. We have zero, exactly zero. We can feed the baby, still. Uh, and the uh, supplies will be a negative number. Uh, but we need to get a delivery. For as much as we can afford. Doesn't anyone have... A cake in their inventory, maybe? Not in this family, sadly, because I've been aging them up manually, mostly. Okay, we can afford, like, half. Yeah, there's no way that uh, you will get a no notification of stomach growl growling when you're feeding a baby. And it's still zero. It used to be negative when you did that. Well, okay. It's just that, you know, the baby bottle is just always there. Let's not be too cruel. Actually, there will be two years of difference between those kids. Okay, we finally have some money. Oh, afternoon. We're supposed to age up the, the first baby. Quickly. Ah, yeah, of course. Perfect clothes. Oh, no, he looks like Benjamin <laughs> in face features again. 
but at least he has unique personality. Ah, uh, not that unique, really. Re pretty similar to his mother, but not the same. Luckily, we have other clothes. We don't need to buy anything. Maybe this, to match his blue eyes. Okay, it's happening. It's a boy! <laughs> Again! Should be blonde, but there could be... Oh yeah, he's blonde. There could be some recessive genes, actually a lot of them, I think. Uh, yeah, there are, because he has green eyes. Oh, I think it's Addison's eyes. This is the only explanation, because Rio had brown, Meadow had a dark blue, Garland has dark blue, so he has to have green recessive. Okay, so this could be Dina, <laughs> if it was a girl. Totally. Dark skin, blonde hair, green eyes, yeah. Okay, so I will name him... Now I don't have a name on, on the top of my head. Maybe just James? Like the most basic name. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny because her name is Nadia, which is probably not very common. And his whole family is just just has made up names, except for his grandmother who turned out to have a name that actually exists, but I didn't know that. Anyway, other than that, it's just made up names, so I think it's kind of funny to name him James. James Long. <laughs> okay, Garland has a baby. Everyone is super happy about it. Okay, so we can go to the Genesis now. The Long family is now one day ahead of the Genesis. Had James. And all he was doing was just blogging about games the whole time and breaking the computer, of course. He's a gamer, so it's not very surprising that he's breaking computers all the time. He just like over-exploits them with the games. Yep, Mary is the first. Nadia is the fourth for her, actually. And the first for Garland. So it's only fair that I actually did it this way. Mm -hmm. So we will have another Mary, because there was also Mary Lena, who I called Mary a lot of the times. And she had a similar function, because she was uh, the grocery delivery lady, and, and Mary is a pizza delivery lady. Almost the same. Enix is hitting it off with Abhijit, and uh, he will be one of the sims that she will woohoo with, because there was supposed to be one guy. One more, really. And I will consider her actually woohooing with Nadia because they are. They have a pretty good relationship, so it should be possible pretty soon. Hi, Donovan. And it will still be a while uh, before we. <laughs> Hi there. Get to know Mary enough to have something with her. He doesn't like that. He also has the elderly back pain, so give him a back rub. But he is already going to bed, yeah. It's not the time yet. Aww, what a smart kid. Let's woohoo. And I think she will... Yeah, fulfill this now. Goodbye. So wait, Garland now has a baby with his former stepdad's daughter. Oh man. Yeah, because his mother was married to Benjamin, and then Benjamin remarried with Christy and had two kids, and one of those kids is Nadia. You know, with the Genesis, it's always like that. Everything stays in the family. What can I say? It's just a very family-oriented gameplay. With wolf butts sticking out of the walls. And obviously Alvin sitting everywhere naked. At least he cleaned his butt. Samaya has been... Hired by Garland to fix his computer. And it's fixed. Samaya's skills look pretty good. She is now on charisma mission. Um, she still needs to learn some mechanical and she wants to uh, get more logic, but I only let her get logic when she's low on fun. Because that's, you know, the logical way. She is now home alone and I wanted to see what it actually looks like that all the families of Baskin Island are now connected. Obviously not everyone with everyone, you know, like Kinston still can be with someone from the Backman family because there isn't really that much relation there, actually pretty much no relation at all. But still when I go to Garland, uh, it looks pretty fun because there's James. So there are the Genesis, here are the Longs, 
and there are the Backmans. So the whole island of playable families um, can be found in this one family tree. I like that. Oh, that's nice. And Kingston brought Brittany Jaya Palin. Hi. Okay, so Maya is now on level 6 of Charisma. She got like 3 points in those few hours. Um, so it's probably time to get some logic, uh, or at least play some chess. I don't know if she's going to get logic that fast. But she is getting pretty close to that lifetime wand. And she probably still has more than 10 days to live, so I think she'll be fine. Hi Donovan, were you brought from work by Alvin? I think so. He probably brings him uh, back from work every day. Yeah, the relationship increased very much, so uh, yeah, that, that must have happened. I was focusing more on the girl, because I don't think I've seen her before. Uh, she is definitely created by the townies generator, uh, but I just can't remember her. I don't think she was ever brought from school before. Enix still doesn't need anything for work. She could get some more mechanical, I guess. But maybe it's better to get to know Mary a little bit more. Oh, Mary changed her hair. Not at all because I changed the replacement. Okay, Garland got a promotion. That's nice, level 8. Isn't she supposed to go home? We'll have a random townie picking her up in like a few minutes. Someone asked me in the comments recently if I'm planning to have more than one child in any of the future generations. Um, and the answer is no, unless it's twins. The two lines of the family have been going on for like four generations now. Uh, we are on generation six, but Garland is the fifth generation and technically he has a child now, so that's the fifth generation of that line, but at least that child is outside of our main family. Uh, so let's say that doesn't count, but if I ever have more than one child, then either this other child would have to stay here in the family and it would be the same exact thing going on again with another sibling or cousin or whatever just hanging out in the house and pretty much doing nothing or like you know taking care of their own goals or something but like not really that necessary for the main line of the family um so it's definitely unnecessary to have more than one child um twins happened in the very second generation at the very beginning so this is the only case when we will have more than one child because other, other than that it's just a problem <laughs> i don't want to play rotationally too much here i have other families but i play them off the record or or i just um they are not really that much connected to our main family, even now with James. Um, so mostly I just age them up manually, as I said before, and I don't really play them that much. But if we had an actual sibling of an heir um, living in another household, I would feel obliga obligated to play that household as well on the record. So that would take twice as long uh, to finish this legacy. So... Sorry, but one child per generation is just completely optimal in this game. In The Sims 2 specifically. In The Sims 3, when I do legacies, it's like, whatever. You just move out and just live your own life, you know? In The Sims 4, kind of same. You can always just go into the town management or whatever and just uh, match people with each other, like move Sims and make them married in cast and make them chi a child in cast, so it's no problem at all. But with The Sims 2, it is a problem to have more than one kid in a legacy. Or, you know, in The Sims 4 you can also have MC Command Center, obviously, um, and in The Sims 3 you actually need the story progression mod for any progression to happen, pretty much, so, uh, yeah, so, like, there could be their own progression, you can just leave the siblings alone and they will do something. In The Sims 2, that doesn't happen, and I don't like the story progression mod for The Sims 2, I don't need it, so, uh, nope, not doing that. Alvin, you're in Garland's study you're naked and you're just sleeping on the couch come on go to bed do what waldo did enix is at work 
Okay. Oh yeah, she's a party DJ now, so she works nights. Um, she was still here. She finally went home at 3 a.m. Damn, she is gonna be in trouble. She is gonna be so grounded. Okay, Mary is coming today. I don't know how they're playing my sims together, but... Yeah, whatever works. <laughs> Jake is old. Oh my god. Mary, no. I mean, you can ask her on a date, really. Again, I didn't think of that. I'm already thinking what she, she will be wearing uh, once she stops being a pizza delivery person. Um, something probably similar to what she's wearing now, because I like doing that. And I did the same thing with Mary Lena. And I think it makes sense that she will work in culinary, but I will look into her skills and her lifetime want and everything um so we'll decide later but well if i have no better idea than culinary makes perfect sense right and i don't think enix will break off any of her other affairs let's say um because you know like they are probably both yeah they are both romance sims so it kind of makes sense to let let them be in kind of like an open relationship oh no okay that's a bad talk did she say that being in an open relationship is against the law <laughs> but it won't be an officially open relationship like they won't be actively in an open r relationship but um i won't make them commit to one another in any way like no going steady no uh, marriage or anything like that they will just be in love and living together but um if one of them wants to do something if they feel maybe a little bit too much pressure or something and they need to go and do stuff with someone else then they will be okay with it so they won't be like having active affairs all the time but if something happens they just won't be jealous of each other they will just understand i think it would be nice if uh, kinston also invited brock because they are supposed to be friends he wants that uh he could invite the girl as well but she's probably grounded so maybe not <laughs> Are you guys going? Oh, I, th I thought they, are, they were going to bed already. Aww. They can finally make out. It's almost a dream date. Uh, they don't have anything except woohoo. Um, but I can just make it better with some interactions. Okay, it's a dream date now. Oh, they became best friends, so... Yeah that's a bonus um okay i think that's it bye bye see you next time just hanging out outside with alvin watching them oh <laughs> precious boy mary this is not the front door i thought you guys already figured out which door is the front door <laughs> and we just have plenty of roses in the garden well that kind of makes sense <laughs> i will just sell them there's no more place to put them tomorrow is kinston's birthday i can't wait oh level six two promotions in one episode that's nice oh they're hugging but they're not best friends yet yeah, he he has the still has a lower relationship with her, but he initiated the hog. That's so sweet. Alvin wanted to throw a party, so I invited some random people and we're just going to have a regular party. It's not supposed to be for I mean, it is kind of for Kinston's birthday, I guess, but Alvin just wanted a party, so he got a party. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't throw any parties, so <laughs> Nina Stop this! Since Weldon is here, we can say that it's a party for Kinston. Hi, this is your dad. Do you even know him? He doesn't know him. Wow. He can have a family kiss with him even though he doesn't even know him. Okay, let's talk a little bit. Um, she can't move because he's growing up there. <laughs> 
He's in the way with his birthday. How dare he? Okay, he's going to... Uh, Okay, that's a very weird choice. Okay, uh, he's going to be a knowledge sim, but I'm not sure about those turn-ons. Like, that sounds like a very big dissonance. Okay, I think I will roll. First, I will roll um, which one I will remove, and then I will roll a, a number of what I am going to replace it with. Uh, so first, I roll what I'm going to remove. So I do it with a guitar pick, because it's kind of like a penny, you know, like it has nothing on one side and something on the other side, like a turtle. Uh, so let's say that the turtle is the hard worker and the nothing is the unemployed. But it's hard because the pick is really light. Uh, okay, I got a turtle. So hard worker gets removed. Okay, that's weird for a knowledge sim, but it's supposed to be random. Right? Normally, I just leave the turn-ons and turn-offs as they are, but this time they don't really make much sense. How many of these are there? 12, 18, 24, 32. Okay, so let's go from 2 to 32 because 1 will be the same thing. You can just type RNG in Google and you will get a random number generator. I got 13. Am I obsessed if those numbers make me think of Taylor Swift only? 32 is how old she is now that she had birthday on the 13th of December and 13 is her favorite number, so, like, I can't not think about her. <laughs> okay, 13. Uh, 6, 12, 13. Full face makeup. Okay, full face makeup and unemployed. That kind of makes me think of some kind of... Uh, well, he doesn't like ju jewelry, but still performer on the street, like a uh, human statue or something. They are probably employed, but still, <laughs> I don't know. Just, just a thought, you know? I think I might age up Brittany because they are close to friendship. And um, I looked at her personality uh, yesterday when she was here. Wait, that was two days ago. Anyway, and she looks like a knowledge slash fortune sim for me, more like knowledge first, fortune second, so they might be pretty good for each other. Oh yeah, she's doing that in the chair. Oh, nice clothes. She doesn't have the best face probably, but if it mixes with the nice face that Kinston has, it might end up looking pretty decent, I think. Okay, she likes glasses and blonde hair, that doesn't sound like Kinston. But yeah, I think she will be a knowledge sim as well. And she's still a child in his contacts, yeah. Okay, oh man, you are handsome, dude. I mean, he could wear glasses, because I don't think anyone was wearing glasses in this family. And he's a knowledge sim, so it's kind of like a stereotype. I think it suits him. It would kind of, like, emphasize his personality as a knowledge sim. Oh man, the second face with this nose is just perfect. <laughs> yes. Um, what do we do with his hair? The eyebrows can stay this way. He was born with them, I think, so yeah. He just has naturally nice eyebrows, okay? I feel like his father could have more of, um, uh, kind of wavy hair. So, I like this hair on him. And the glasses actually go pretty well with it, I think. Now he looks very different from what he used to look like, but looks nice. You know, he's supposed to change. Aw, he is so cute. I like him so much. He might be a geek, but he's a stylish one. He kind of reminds me of Jacob Martin from River Blossom Hills for some reason. I made him wear similar glasses when he was an elder and probably that's why. The party is a good time. Congrats, Alvin. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Something really bad is happening in this room. Like father, like son, they like the same colors. Never mind, Kinston just met his father like three hours ago when turning 13. About freaking time. Okay, so next time we definitely need to take care of Samaya before she, you know, get Enix that more secure and still partner. So get her close to Mary and maybe woohoo with Nadia, we'll see. And as always, Thank you very much for watching and subscribing and go to the video. 
and see you in the next one. Bye!